Hello everyone, I have another 10 cards to share this month using the Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for March 2022. So moving straight into the first card, I loved this blue pattern paper. It almost has a floral dot pattern. Those dots kind of look like little flowers. And I also loved the goose die cut. In fact, the whole card was probably so I could use the goose. This panel of white card here I embossed with the Swiss dot embossing folder just to give it a little more personality, I guess. And, and I loved how the dots kind of went with the dot pattern in the pattern paper. And that was something I pulled in for my stash. And I also pulled in these dies of hearts from my stash to finish this card. And so I used, I cut the largest heart out of vellum, then the medium heart out of the gold. And I could not find that same shade of blue anywhere else really in the kit. So I just used a scrap of the pattern paper and cut another heart, the smallest of my die cut hearts from my dies out of the pattern paper. So I glue on the outside of the vellum and then the gold heart down and, and while they're drying I'm showing you the stamp set I used this stamp Hey Baby and I was thinking this could be kind of a baby card or you know parent child card I don't know here's the goose I just I'm calling it a goose I think it's a goose anyway I just loved the goose and the little bit of blue and I wanted to keep that blue white um, color theme going and so I didn't want to add other colors in which made this card quite a challenge so I'm also pulling in some more hearts there are a couple cards in these 10 cards that have just a ton of hearts in them and this is one of them there's a little gold die cut heart from the die cut pack and my white rectangle that my sentiments on I just cut a little banner tail into and I use it kind of as a placeholder to figure out where my hearts are I want them kind of coming out of that sentiment there and then I have the goose up on mounting tape, so it stands out. And to finish off the card, I just have another die cut heart in this lighter shade of blue. And then one from the foam glitter uh, sticker sheet. And that just adds a little more shimmer. So I added in the gold, but it goes well with pretty much all the elements of the kit. There, gold. And then I'm going to place the geese, mom and baby goose gosling down and that will finish off card number one for card number two it's all about that floral pattern paper i love their florals that spellbinders does and sometimes i find them actually more challenging to use because i don't want to cover any of it up so i am again pulling something from my stash these two dies came from the all the little things may 2020 card kit of the month from spellbinders um, and I just love this die that came in that kit. Uh, it could You could also use just a square or any kind of panel. You know, you don't have to get fancy with this die, but I just, I really liked that. And then I cut the center out of vellum. And while those are drying, I'm showing this die cut from the die cut pack, the floral bouquet. It's some beautiful detail on there. And then I have a chipboard sticker for my sentiment, do small things with great love. And it has kind of that lavender color. Um, so I'm going to set that down for now and I'm checking to see if my, that I might glue dry, my liquid glue that I used here dries really slowly. So, and with the vellum, you can see my glue there peeking through. It's always kind of a battle of, with my vellum, how do I attach it? But mostly that gets covered up with this, um, die cut floral element. So it doesn't really distract. You can't really see it in the end unless you're really looking for it. And then put my sentiment down and it'll just finish off the card. I think it showcases that floral pattern well without, you know, losing a lot of it. For card number three, again, I have a couple extra dies for my stash. This wonky stitch die, it's just a rectangle. I just wanted to add a little something, but this card could totally be done just cut without that die. And then again, I have a couple hearts that uh, larger heart from the heart die from my stash. And this beautiful pattern paper, I just loved the, the little watering cans and how the blues look. And so I didn't want to cover it up at all. And uh, that's why I have the vellum heart. I just wanted to add a little something there. Here I'm marking on the vellum with my pencil so I can know where to put my glue because I didn't want it going past where my other heart was gonna be. 
uh, because you usually do see the glue through. And then don't erase as roughly as I did. I kind of tore my vellum harp. So then I had to shift my heart just slightly to cover up my brutal attack on the vellum there. But it all gets covered in the end. So I have the two uh, staggered hearts. And then I've got some more hearts. How about a chipboard heart? Love lives in the little things is that sentiment on this chipboard heart. I'm going to place the chipboard heart down towards the bottom of my two larger hearts, but I have this white rectangle panel that's going on later, but I'm using it to make sure I have things just where I want them. It's just a simple little white rectangle, but it's going to anchor my other sentiments. And I'm going to glue that down in the bottom left and then take the other... The, there are four more chipboard stickers I'm using here, and I'm just showing you a close-up of them. And the grateful and the for you will be my sentiment. And I'll put those down first. And I always like to add adhesive with the chipboard stickers. They just, they are adhesive backed. But, you know, in order for them to stay put, they kind of need a little help, usually. And so I add the liquid glue. And it also helps give, add a little dry time. So that I can kind of move it around if I don't get it perfect right when I set it down. So then I have this face with flowers and the chipboard heart. It's lots of lovely shimmer and dimension on this card. And then to finish it off, I have two chip, uh, not chipboard, die cut hearts from the die cut pack. There's kind of a, a lavender one and then this bright yellow. And I like how the yellow one brings out the yellow in the flower uh, flowers on the vases in the heart panel which was the inspiration for the whole card, was that pattern paper. So for card number four, I'm just starting with the blank white card base that comes in the kit, and then I have two rectangle panels of pattern paper, and I just love all the different colors in that floral. And then the yellow has little white hearts, and you can see it really well here. So I'm starting with the little uh, yellow heart rectangle, and then I'm going to put the floral panel just over the edge, just slightly. And because I wanted, I wanted the floral one to cover the hearts. You could do it the other way, but yeah, this is how I liked it. So pulling in the dies, there is a die that cuts out all these bunny shapes. And through the magic of video, voila, it is finished already. I inlaid the pieces for the um, eyes, cheeks, and nose. And I colored them with these two alcohol markers. They're just Blick Studio markers. And for the ears, I actually used the light pink cardstock that comes in the kit. Um, but yeah, I liked inlaying the shapes because I liked how they set better. So then I'm just going to put the bunny down and it turns out really cute. And then we're going to use some more dies. This die here that cuts out the hello with the flower. I cut out twice the hello the green with the green that comes in the kit and the gold. And then I cut the flower on the center with the light pink and then the yellow that came in the kit. And I'm placing that down. And you can see my flower has dimension. On a later card, I will show you exactly how I did that. Then I used the bow die to cut it out from gold. And then I just have a scrap of adhesive. I've added adhesive to this gold. And then cut a thin strip out of it. And I'm just going to add this little strip down here. There are these uh, strips that you can get from, I think, Love from Lizzie, but I think it's a UK company and the shipping is insane to the US. Um, but those would be so much easier and nice, but I don't have those, so I have to make my own. But they're pretty easy to make with a double stick adhesive and a nice trimmer that can cut straight better than I can. So to finish off the card, three little sequins in the bottom, and that's it. Card number five might be my favorite, and I know, and this blue pattern paper looks to me like rain. That's kind of the thinking. I just loved this pattern paper with the suns and the clouds, and the sentiment has been done a million times, but I still love it. You are my sunshine. I just really like that kind of card, and so I could probably make different iterations of this card over and over with the theme, you are my sunshine, and still love it. And the You Are My Sunshine is from the Foam Glitter Stickers. And here's how I did it this time. Though I kind of wish I'd tried my Glad Press and Seal because, man, are these sticky. They're very sticky and and then they they bend. Like, look at my M. I have to fix him. But 
there. I got them all down. Plus, it was hard to get their, um, the little bit, the part in the A, you know, the little openings out. I don't know how to say that, but anyway, I did it in the end, but that was at least a minute of video I cut out. And here are clouds that I made from the lamb fluff die. And when I first saw it, I didn't even think lamb fluff. I, and I had to be shown that from the other <laughs> demos, but I thought it was a cloud. And so I just cut it out of some scrap cardstock in a light gray. And then I'm going to use the die cut clouds. I'm trying to show there's a subtle pattern on those clouds. It didn't really show on camera, but they are very nice in person. And then I have the sunshine. All of those are popped up on foam tape and these all came from the die cut pack and I just liked being able to add you know a couple extra clouds a little variety so I love how that turned out and you know to also show thinking uh outside the box with the dies because that lamb fluff looks like a cloud to me okay for this card we have this wood grain pattern paper it kind of has a pink hue to it but it's not entirely pink. Then a chipboard sticker. I've used some vellum from my stash and I'm showing how I've doubled up on the mounting tape here to give it extra dimension because I'm going to have sequins in there which move just fine, but the flowers that I've added dimension to are pretty thick, you know, and I want them to be able to move around. You, can, you can't really see how they're curved there, um, but I'm going to show you momentarily. This is how I get the dimension on the flower. It, I have a foam pad. You could use a mouse pad, and then I have this roller attachment or this ball attachment, and you just rub it around the center, and it curls up, and it's really lovely for the dimension. So those flowers have a little bit of dimension, and then I'm going to take the sticky or the backer part off of my mounting tape and place my frame down and voila I have a shaker card slowing it down and it it works really well I like that I definitely with the flowers you definitely need to double up on the foam tape though or they wouldn't move at all so then to finish off the card I have two more chipboard stickers the happy sentiment and the little yellow one says wonderful and it got it was kind of lost by itself so i'm adding a little white rectangle here that i've cut banner tails into to help that sentiment wonderful stand out and not get lost in the wood the wood pattern paper it needed a little anchor a little something and i really like how that turned out and i do have some acetate but man i get it dirty all the time and so the vellum it just is easier for me so for card number seven, we have that lovely yellow pattern paper with the hearts and then the light blue one that looks like rain or water to me. And the, there's, the hearts show just a little bit behind, but I just wanted a little bit of the yellow. And I am using this watering can uh, pattern paper that I really loved and I've put it up on fun foam. So then I add glue there and get it just right. It's real centered on there but I liked how the watering cans are watering and then that blue paper kind of looks like water flowing so the stamp set had this sentiment um, moving a little faster but grow with the flow I couldn't get it to show on the stamp set on camera but you see it there on my panel and I'm using not my panel my little sentiment strip I'm using it to um, visually help myself put these leaf die cut down. So I have a gold foliage leaf one and then one of the green ones from the die cut pack. And then I glue them down flat and then just have them kind of coming out of that sentiment. Then I loved these little rain boots. There's even a little detail of stitching on there. I don't know if you could tell. I've got them up on mounting tape. And again, we're going to take the die of the flower. This time I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't use the center until later but I've got I used a glue dot to get my little scrap strips of green onto them and then I have these little tiny circle foam dots that I'm going to put down in the center of the flowers and I'm going to tuck them in behind the rain boots and I think that after I finished all my cards I did decide to add some sequins which I can't remember if I popped in a photo or not so hopefully I did um, but I put sequins in the center of the flowers and I used a little wet glue on their stems just to hold the stems down I'm positioning them 
alternating their height. Then I press down the stems. And then I'm going to put the rain boots behind them like they're coming out of there. And that is how this card turns out. Okay, for card number eight, I had this grid pattern paper as the background there. And then I've taken this beautiful purple floral with gold accents and mounted that onto gold card and just have a scant border of black, the black card stock. Because I liked just adding in a little more of that black to my card there. So I'm going to lay these down and I have also the purple cardstock from the kit is on the gold and the black and then I have a square of that in kind of the center but top. I had this lovely die cut of the hugging bunnies and that was the inspiration for this card and they're up on mounting tape and then I have some chipboard stickers to finish it off. We have smiles which will be my sentiment and I'm using the liquid glue and I'm going to press this down really hard there where it overlays because I've got a bit of dimension with all that cardstock and paper. And then just use three hearts to the circle hearts and the kind of medium shimmery heart. There's lots of shimmer and dimension on this card and so I think it turns out really nice. Okay, on to card number nine. I loved the stripey, swipey pattern here with the colors, swipes of color. And so I definitely wanted to use that in a card. And then I'm using more of the cardstock from the kit, the light blue, the purple, and the white. And I've rounded the corners here, and they should all have all their corners rounded, but one of the corners doesn't show because I'm tucking them underneath. And so I just didn't around the corner that's going to be covered up, if that makes sense. So the light blue is a little more of a rectangle. And then I have a longer purple rectangle. And for the white, I'm using the set stamps, hello and I love you, and it is a square. And also that little uh, trio of hearts. And with, you can see how I stamped it out there. And so then I'm going to tuck that underneath. And so there's just a nice layering of these, these little panels. So I'm tucking that under first, and I'm trying to keep it straight with the bottom of the card and the side of the card, and then I'm able to lay down my purple rank rectangle, and you can see how this looks all together before I put any of the die cuts on and all of that. So for this card, I'm using two floral die cuts from the pack and a butterfly. And one of these flowers flies better than the butterfly. You see it there? It took off right there. But I'm going to glue down the floral die cut pieces down flat. And then my butterfly, you may have noticed, has the mounting squares just in the center there to give it just a little bit of lift. And I kind of curl the wings a little with my finger. So they kind of curl out. Just trying to figure out which way I want my butterfly to go. And then here I curl the wings up a little bit. And then to finish off the card, again, I'm going to use the sequins and just put a trio of them in the bottom portion of this blue rectangle. And that is it for card number nine. Card number 10 is also a portrait layout. I had a lot of landscape cards this time around, and I'm using this plaid blue and green plaid, real light pale colors. And then I have this dash pattern paper with the, it's got lovely uh, gold accents in it. And I have cut banner tails into it and mounted it onto some gold card for a little banner here. And that's kind of the focal point of the card. Then I have these two die cut pieces from the die cut pack. There's a heart with gold accents and the rainbow that says shine bright and both of them are on mounting squares. I used up all of the mounting tape that came in the kit. I often do that, and uh, so then I had to pull in some from my stash. Again, the stamp set. There's Life is Cool and So Are You, and I stamped that out onto the white card that comes in the kit, 
and just cut out this little rectangle for my sentiment. It's on mounting tape as well. And again, a trio of sequins in the top left corner will finish off card number 10. And I'll bring all 10 back in here briefly for you to have a look at. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And like the video, it really helps my channel. And also, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I post the next video, which I will definitely have five more cards from this kit. I am working on them now, so maybe next week. And I hope you have a wonderful creative day. And if you have this kit, you have fun uh, creating with it. And if you don't, I hope you have found some inspiration to be able to use the things you do have and make some wonderful spring cards, all occasion cards. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.